Cooking Apa. Hi, this is Cooking Apa. Apa will be uploading minimum four videos every week, um, namely Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, Malaysian time, 7 p.m. at night. And for the past two and a half years, or close to three years, Apa has uploaded over 600 cooking videos. Go and have a look when you are free. Okay, uh, today you're looking at two very simple ingredients here, but not that simple to make. I mean, uh, I won't call it very difficult, but it's rather time consuming. Okay, so uh, this why I don't make it very often. <laughs> but it's one very uh, classic dish for, for especially um, in Malaysia, where Apas come from, coming from. Uh, it's called braised chicken feet with mushroom. That's why you actually see some chicken feet, some mushroom. Okay, so how many chicken feet you, you, you want to use, totally up to you. I'm, I have about eight chicken feet here. Quite a small amount, seriously, I'm using. You, you, of course, you can, you can add a bit more. And then about uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pieces of uh, Japanese shiitake mushroom. Soak until it is softened. Okay, uh, I won't worry so much about the mushroom because the thing that we really spend a lot of time is the chicken feet. Okay, why? Because you need to create this particular effect called tiger skin or fluffy skin. Okay, fu pi, meaning you want the skin for the from the chicken feet to become fluffy, so that it can actually absorb more uh, moisture and absorb more gravy more effectively. So I'm going to show you how to make that so-called tiger skin, right? Uh, basically, you need to fry it, deep fry it, and then put it under cold water. And this process may take you one and a half hours. <laughs> okay, easily. So now, so what do we do with um, the chicken feet then? First of all, remove all the nails, right? Remove all the nails, and then we're going to blanch it first. Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APAS video. Right, the first rule of blanching is always put your ingredient into cold water, then only you raise the heat. Okay, but by doing this, the blanching process can be a lot more efficient. Uh, why blanching? Because we want to remove the gaminess of uh, the chicken feet itself. And also to help the, to remove the gaminess, we're going to put a bit of sauteing wine. Unless you don't take alcohol, then you can uh, uh, avoid putting in the wine. No need to find replacement. Many of time, uh, many people keep on asking, Apa, Apa, is there any? Do I? If I don't take alcohol, can I have a, a replacement? Can I don't? If I don't uh, eat this, can I have a replacement? Actually, sometimes you don't really need a replacement. Just omit it. Yeah, just just not using that particular item. So. Very simple, bring it to a boil. You can also put a bit of ginger, a slices or two, ginger. Um, bring it to a boil. Once it boils, let it boil for probably about one minute. Then uh, rinse it under uh, running water. Wash it nicely. Then we can move on to the second step. Very simple. Okay, it has been boiling for the past one minute. As you can see, all this brownish, whitish color form is called scums. Uh, these are the excessive, excessive oil. Coming, uh, re, uh, coming from uh, the bone, especially the bone itself. And that is the whole purpose of why we are doing the blanching process. All this will contain the gaminess, yeah? So by doing so, we are removing all the gaminess, at least 90%. So always do your blanching process, especially when your meat involves bones. See, all this we don't want. Now we are, I'm going to wash the chicken wing. Oh no, yeah, chicken uh, feet. Okay, so I rinse it under running water, wash it nicely. Next thing is we want to marinate it with a little bit of light soy sauce, about one tablespoon, and some dark soy sauce. This is more uh, to, to add the color, yeah, to give it more caramelized color to your chicken wing, or uh, chicken feet, sorry. About one tablespoon as well. Oops. Okay. Now, um, 
Right after this, you can use deep fry, but today I'm, um, I, I'm going to use air fry instead, and there's a reason for it. If you use deep fry, this thing is going to really splatter, almost explode <laughs> in the hot oil. So you, if you use deep fry, then always remember to cover it with the lid, okay? So that you won't hurt, it, you won't hurt yourself. So today I'm going to use air fry just to save myself from the spat oil spattering. And, be, and also because of uh, I'm using air frying, I'm going to give it a very thin layer of uh, oil covering the covering the uh, chicken feet. This will also help the air frying process. Actually, air frying doesn't mean zero oil. Yeah, by having a bit of oil, it can help. It really helps. Okay. So I'm going to move on to my air fryer. Okay, so first of all, I put a tray. Usually this will come together with your air fryer. Any brand, I think they will also come with it. Put this tray inside. Uh, I'm using um, this kind of tray so that the air flow, the air flow can actually circulate around the, the, the chicken feet nicely. I may not need to turn. I will decide later whether or not I need to turn, okay? If you use a normal um, uh, steel, steel plate, then you definitely you need to turn. You need to flip. This one, I may not need to. Of course, uh, by doing this way later, you will need to wash uh, the container here. The, there is a bucket, but this bucket, you can just easily lift it and wash it. So, so the thing about let me, the thing about air frying is all about hot air rotating. Yeah, hot air rotating. Uh, let me see. I'm going to give it like hi two hundred twenty or between two hundred to two hundred twenty and then twenty minutes. Okay, so um, like I said, if I need to flip, I'll flip later since I have a transparent glass. This is why I always buy an air fryer with a transparent glass so that I can check the cooking process. Okay, this is very, very important when you want to choose to buy an air fryer. Okay, I just heard a ting sound just now. Ooh, Ooh actually a little bit char. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, no problem. Uh, maybe next round I can adjust the time shorter by maybe two minutes. Because I raised the heat just now to 210. Worry it may not be hot enough. So, little bit dark. Luckily, not yet burnt. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is actually nicely air fried. Um, it would be better if we can the color can be a little bit lesser, but of course, the color is also partly due to the caramelized uh, dark soya sauce. So, um, maybe next round I will do 200 degree and probably somewhere around 18 minutes. Okay, so you can try it out at your home. And immediately, we need to do next is to put it into icy water faster. Okay, very quickly, right? The moment you take it out, the moment you take out from uh, the oven or my uh, air fryer immediately you put inside here okay after you fry immediately you put inside icy water and let it soak for about one hour uh, then the you will you should be getting the the hoopy the fluffy uh, fluffy uh, skin later but usually it will take about one hour or so okay okay this is after about one hour soaking the chicken feet in uh, icy water uh, the the uh, the more icier the better okay the cooler the better and while waiting i actually prepare all the other ingredients here about one tablespoon of chopped onion one tablespoon of chopped ginger one tablespoon of chopped garlic 
and this is uh, about one teaspoon of um, five spice powder. Uh, this is actually the broken star anise. <laughs> Adding up together is probably about one to one, one to two star anise. And this is cinnamon stick, bay leaf, and two um, dried chili, the seeds. So uh, of course we have the uh, soak um, mushroom and with the middle stem removed. Okay, the middle stem can be a very chewy, yeah? so always remove it. Uh, let's take a look at the, the result. Let's take a look at the result of our tiger skin. Okay, are we getting the tiger skin you wanted? Let me check this out. Okay, so you can see the skin is actually crumbled out, become more fluffy. Okay, this is exactly the kind of um, tiger skin we wanted for this particular dish. Okay, now we can actually start um, stir fry a bit and and cook it um, and then let it simmer. Uh, but today I'm going to use a pressure cooker. Before I put it inside the pressure cooker, I'm going to saute the ingredient a little bit for a while. So I'm going to put in some vegetable oil, two to three tablespoon. Put in the garlic, ginger, and also onion. Saute until the fragrance uh, come out. Actually, I already can smell the aroma. Clean the chicken feet, the mushroom. The dried chili, five spice powder, star anise, and also the uh, what else? Cinnamon stick. Okay, I'm going to add in some water. This is some uh, mushroom water just now, and let's add more. Uh, add in some hot water as well. You want the water to be uh, just enough to cover your all your ingredients inside the pot later, okay? Especially when you're use when you're going to use a normal wok or pot to to uh, simmer, then the water level may be a little bit more. For me, actually, I'm using I'm going to use a pressure cooker so. I don't have to um, keep on checking on the water level later because inside the pressure cooker the water will not reduce but inside a normal pot the water will reduce okay so you don't want to burn your your your, your chicken feet or your mushrooms here now we can season this with some about one tablespoon of oyster sauce One to two tablespoon of light soy sauce. Then we have dark soy sauce. This is more for the caramelized color. About one to two tablespoon or so. Okay. And saucing wine. Some people get confused of rice. Uh, Cooking, cooking wine, rice cooking wine, saucing wine. Actually, saucing wine is a cooking wine. Okay. I'm going to put in uh, two cups. This kind of cup, okay. It should be capped, okay. This is capped. Right, now we are getting the right color. 
and very fragrant. Now I'm going to give it a bit of little bit of uh, salt and sugar. Sugar at least about one tablespoon. And then I'm going to I can now off the fire here and transfer this over to my pressure cooker. Now if you are using a stove then you can actually once it become boiled you can tune down to medium low and uh, put the lid on uh, let it simmer for about one hour at least about one hour okay but occasionally you need to uh, probably every 15 20 minutes have to come and check the water level it, it, you don't want it to dry out okay but now for me it's very simple let me zoom out for you I just need to transfer it over to the inner pot of my pressure cooker right okay here's my favorite pressure cooker from Philips this is not a sponsored video by the way because many people always like to ask about what kind of equipment I'm using so I'm just letting you all know and telling you all what's the good and bad about it so that I can help you all to make your buying decision easier all right so put in the inner pot close it lock it okay and then um, oops uh, I'm going to change this is power tree uh, but I'm going to change the time to a bit higher uh, let me see timer a bit higher because this is uh, 20 minutes and kilo pascal a bit higher as well because this is actually chicken feet yeah then press it for three seconds yeah it will start so the good thing about this particular model of pressure cooker is it actually shows you the uh, what is the pressure inside the cooker and it, it actually released the uh, pressure uh, by itself so i like it a lot so i know exactly what's happening which is good and like i mentioned earlier um, Pressure, when you're using a pressure cooker, the good thing about it, you don't have to watch out for the water. The water will not reduce. And the effect will be uh, very tender later. All right, done. Okay, it is now keep warm. Under keep warming right now. Um, so before we want to open, you need to unlock it. Press this button and then immediately your hand should be at the, at the side. Okay, don't, don't stay here. Wow, oh my god, I wish you can smell this, it smells so good. Let me take it out for you and see. Ooh. Can you see, can you see how, uh, how tender is this thing? Is the chicken chicken feet? See, see he moves. See how he moves. Very nice. Okay, so it's basically done. I'm just going to uh, dish it out for you. Okay, so after about two hours, only this small bowl. So <laughs> you you may want to uh, do a bigger bowl. <laughs> uh, add more um, chicken feet and also mushroom, but. Uh, because my family not everyone likes chicken feet i just want to show you how to do this okay because this is a very very classic very very classic malaysian chinese dish okay uh but i'm sure in any asian country also they eat this but maybe slightly different way of making it okay um i hope you like my video if you like my video do share my video on your facebook to your friends come cooking up our facebook fan page to click like and follow button follow up on instagram and subscribe to cooking, cooking up our youtube channel if you want to know more about the, the equipment that i'm using i'll put the link inside the description description box thank you very much bye bye